Hi, welcome to uh, Pricey Spice's uh, video grow log, or grow vlog, as we uh, normally say. Uh, is now Tuesday the 14th of June, I had to really think about that. It's installment 8, and uh, we've got quite an update really, because the uh, plants and the hydros have now hit that point where everything's really started to happen. Despite the British weather going a bit uh, bit off piece with uh, the sun, a bit more rain than usual, uh, it, it is all starting to happen, so let's have a quick look and uh, see what we're up to. So, looking first of all at the Dorset Nagas. The last time we looked at these, they were probably about yay big, but now we've got a hell of a lot of grow leaves on there. Leaves are getting nice and big. Um, we've now got that V at the top with the first couple of chilies growing from them. Now, what you know with uh, what you will notice with a capsicum chinense. Where you get the fork in the leaves, you will normally get uh, between two to three, it's usually three chilies growing at each node. So you actually get more bang for your buck with a chinense rather than you will a capsicum fritense or a uh, anum uh, or even a bacatum. Uh, so, yeah, basically, we've got the dorsum now goes going down this run, and we've got a real big beauty there. I mean, look at that, that is now, give you a sense, my hand. So these plants are only 13 weeks old and they really are doing well. Have a quick see at the roots. So, you know, the roots really are coming out of there now. So you can see that one there that looks really furry. That is where all the micro roots are coming out. So you've got the big roots, secondary roots, and then you'll get the uh, the micro roots which will start growing all the, uh, the macro nutrients. Just check that's flowing. Yep. So uh, yeah, the plants in these seem to be doing all right. If we go further round, we've got the Bengal Nagas, and then up at the top we've got some uh, seven foot yellows. Now, first chili flower. So these are the uh, Adjilim ones. So doing much better than the ones outside, which are pretty much stopped. Uh, these really are the water I had to top up the other day before it ran out, so we need to put some more nutrients in there. However, these plants, this particular one over here, this one is now about two foot tall. It's getting a bit leggy, so we're probably going to start ripping a few bits off the top and start getting it to bush out a little bit, which is something we're going to try this year. Uh, possibly with, I don't know, a couple of the plants on, maybe the ones on this side or something. So we can see a comparison between the ones that we start ripping the bits off and the ones that we don't. Uh, I've never personally done the breaking of plants to try and get them to bush out in the past but if it works it works and if it doesn't well it's a lesson learned. So having a little bit more of a look here we've got the cut and come again pak choy so that was the one that uh, I'm not sure if we cut that off last time so that's a couple of weeks growth not doing brilliant I don't think I cut it off quite at the right place whereas that's a pack choice we've cut off a couple of days before it so the cut and come again method does work if however you go too low that's what will happen yeah the growing tick has been cut too low and there's a couple of little bits that are growing but not a great idea so all in all uh, we've had a little bit of an aphid attack which you can see by these strange leaves so aphids were underneath going a little bit rife on the plant However, we just got some uh, pyrethrum 5EC, which you can get a little tub. It's about uh, 100, 200 millilitres, I can't remember now, but you will pay somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds for that. Uh, it is diluted, 2 millilitres to a litre or 2 litres, I think, so it will last a few years if you store it in the right conditions. Uh, but it is the only natural pesticide. It's come from the back of a flower somewhere in New Zealand, they found this, and uh, it's safe to eat and still wash your chilies once you've sprayed them with it but it is actually safe to humans it just gets into the aphids respiratory system and uh, kills them off pretty quick so it's a natural pesticide it's expensive but it works and if you want to grow chilies I'd recommend picking a bottle up so we'll just take a quick look outside and we'll have a look at the courgettes so as we can see we've got the first courgettes growing now There's our first courgette. So yeah, the plants are doing all right, they're getting a bit bigger. We've got some more to go in today. A few random peas which aren't doing too good. 
And then we've also got a secondary batch. Oh, there's another little one. It's a nice one, this small. And then we've got these ones to go in as well. Just to take a look at the uh, three plants in the greenhouse, we have got growing in uh, soil. Uh, the three plants that uh, Joy from Sea Spring Seeds gave us. Let's have a quick look. So we've got uh, Trinidad Green Scorpion. So that one's now coming along. It seems to have found its roots. It looks like it might have had a little bit of an aphid attack, so we need to spray that one again. We've got Trinity, getting very, very bushy. And uh, Submarine. So it looks like something's nibbled that one a little bit, but again, it's starting to come back now. And we'll just go down the garden and take a look at the, uh, the hanging baskets where we've got the small jelly ones and the tomatoes. Bear with me one second. So we're now down the garden under the carport and uh, let's have a quick look at the uh, tomatoes. So here we've got uh, some baskets with the uh, irrigation system and uh, we've got the first of the flowers starting to form there. Uh, so yeah, they're doing quite well. We did grow some plants eventually after we'd uh, ruined the first lot, which aren't doing too well, but if they grow, they grow. And then these are the Adji Limon plants, which don't really seem to be like out, outside at the moment. I'm sure they'll start to recover, but whether we'll uh, get any fruit off of those this year is still to be uh, determined. So uh, yeah, keep watching, look out for uh, the next instalment. Uh, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with us and don't forget to check out the website which has now just taken a big update and uh, you can go and buy your amazing award winning chutneys, sauces, preserves, chilli jams and chutneys from there. Okie doke and curry paste and seasonings. Enjoy, bye for now.